Is it fall, Grandmama? It's fall, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and today we're going to be making meatloaf, and I got a little twist for y'all. If y'all watch my video that, well, this video is not going on till tomorrow, but I made one Saturday that went on this morning, and it was called, it was my very licious, low, low carb uh, cobbler. So, y'all need to check that out because I'm telling you, that is a big twist on that one. Uh, and today, I love this Nature's Own Keto Bread. It has 10 carbs, but it only has one net carb because it has 9 grams of fiber. And it's a, a big piece of bread. I love it. It's, a, it's just a normal, it's a little bit thicker than most of your low-carb or keto breads. But this one is so, so good. And my twist is I took and dried it out in my oven, and I'm going to make breadcrumbs out of it. So, and I'm going to do a video. I make bread flour out of it that I can use and things. But I'm making breadcrumbs today. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a video on it and show you how to do that. All right, I'm cutting up. Now, if y'all watched my video on onion rings, y'all knew I had all those little pieces of onion left. Well, and I told y'all I would use them. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use them in my... Never throw things away, y'all. Always put it in the fridge or the freezer. Take it out and use it. Uh, because, let me tell you something. Food is too expensive to chunk in the garbage. Too expensive. I'm going to do about a cup of onions uh, because I'm going to put a, a topping on it. And so um, I want to, I'm going to do it, chop up enough that I can do, put some in the meatloaf and some in my uh, topping. All right. Let me get, there we go. Get that right. I'm glad I... I've used it several times and haven't charged my battery, so I'm glad the battery's still good this morning. And I'm using red onion. I'm using a little bit of the white onion, but I had mostly red onion, so that's what I'm using. Use what you got. Uh, I want more than that. That's not quite a cup yet. So, and I'm gonna show y'all how I do my breadcrumbs in my food processor. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it all, and if I don't use it, then it'll already be chopped in my refrigerator. Uh, I don't wanna put too much. I don't wanna, when you put too much, the uh, the blades get caught up in your, in your uh, food, and they won't, it won't chop, so. And I may have too much in this, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe I give it the going. Mm. <laughs> mm. Let me pick it up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It has to chop it, and once it gets it chopped up enough, then it'll it'll uh, speed up. But all right, this is a little bit more than a cup, and I may use all of it. I may not. Let's see. And this is a three meat meatloaf. Y'all know Roy and I love flavor. We love lots of flavor. So um, this one is sausage, just breakfast sausage that you get in the tubes or the packs. It is uh, ground turkey and uh, ground beef and I I could have put some ground venison in it but uh, I didn't today so all right now in this this is gonna be a simple recipe a simple meatloaf you can add whatever spices you want to in yours but 
I just want a simple meatloaf. So, all right, that is one teaspoon of, uh, one teaspoon of salt. I'm looking for a half a teaspoon. Half teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, garlic. I do want garlic in it, but I'm, ooh, I'm going to put uh, minced garlic. And I want a tablespoon. Now, this is a half of a tablespoon. So, I'm going to be putting two of these. I'm going to put three. I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to get some of that juice in with it. To give it a little bit more garlic flavor. We love garlic. Alright. So, that was one teaspoon of salt. Four, a half teaspoon of pepper. One and a half tablespoons of uh, garlic, minced garlic. Um, I'm going to put, this is like an eighth teaspoon of, I mean an eighth cup of Worcestershire sauce or probably four, four to five tablespoons. All right, now I'm going to put some, this is four ounces of uh tomato sauce. I'm only going to put half of it in there because I'm going to put a little bit of my ketchup, my sugar-free ketchup. I want about uh, probably two ounces of it. Ooh, that's on there. Good grief. Wow, honey, you're going to have to get... Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm gonna put about two ounces of my sugar-free ketchup. All right, now. Can I ask a question? Sure. It's a curve. Have you ever thought about putting a little Dijon mustard in there? Dijon? Uh, no big deal, I wasn't telling you to do it. No, we'll try it. I've got some right here. All right. <coughs> this is like a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Hey, doesn't hurt to try, does it? All right, then my onions. I'm gonna put, uh, this is about a cup and a fourth of onions. We love onions. So I put about, uh, probably a two thirds of a cup of onion. And I'll use the others in my, uh, in my sauce. All right. Honey, if you want to come right here, I'm just going to put this bread. I want to make this uh, bread crumbs. So I'm just, now this is real crisp here. So I'm putting this in my food processor. Now I'm not going to process it as long as I would if I was making the bread flour. I just want bread crumbs. Okay. You have to be careful because you can process it too long. All right. All right, it didn't do it all. So I'm going to take these big pieces out and then I'll process them again because I don't want these others to get too. All right, now I still got some chunks in there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I should have measured that for y'all. All right, hold on a sec. I know about how many I've got in there. I've got about a fourth of a cup in there already. And that's a half a cup. So that's about one cup of bread crumbs. And I'm not going to do the rest of these because one cup is all I'll need. So uh, I'll do that. I'll make bread flour out of that. I'll... Uh, Put some more in the oven, and I'll make bread flour. Now, y'all know I don't usually do this. I was fixing to say it won't taste the same if you don't put I your don't fingers in it, Rose. I gloves on to do meatloaf. You trying to impress somebody in your audience? No, I just see other people do it. So I <laughs> <laughs> and it does keep your hands from getting... Uh, from getting so 
so messy. <laughs> and it's easier to get off this glove than it is your hands. All right. You just mix it up really, really well. Now you can put peppers, you can put whatever you want to in yours. You can put Italian seasoning, you can put, you can make it chili meatloaf, you can make it taco meatloaf. Uh, you save a little money when you mix pork and turkey with the beef do. though, don't you? Yes, if you get a you good do. ground because beef, you can yeah. make it go further. Your by ground pork and ground turkey is not as expensive as your uh, ground beef is. And you could do this in a loaf pan. We like our thinner, so I don't like the big slices of meatloaf. So I, this is like a nine by nine pan right here. So that's what I'm gonna do mine on. We just like our thinner. And when it's thinner, you get more of the sauce that I'm gonna put on top. Did I miss putting the egg in it? Honey. You didn't put egg? I did not, and you know what? Last time I made a meatloaf, I did not put an egg in it. Somebody said, where's the egg? Well, there's other smart people out there like me that aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to put one egg in it. You can put two if you want to, but I'm only going to do one in mine. Yes, and I do always, usually. See, I'm not, I'm just, it's just coming out of my head <laughs> this morning. Usually, a lot of times, I'll write my recipe down beforehand, and it'll kind of remind me of what I need to put in it. But when I do it like I did this, well, like I'm doing this morning, and just do it as I go, sometimes I forget an ingredient. An egg is not a major ingredient, but it is a binder, so it will help. Okay. All right. I think we got it. I'm going that looks to pretty put good. a few more onions in it because it just looks like it needs it, doesn't it? We just, yeah, and I didn't want that many onions in my sauce. All right. It just, yeah, because this is about two and a half pounds of meat here. But you can just use all ground beef. You can use all turkey. You can even use ground chicken in it. Uh, whatever you want to use in yours, I mean, it's got to be good. You can, if you put the right ingredients in it, it's got to be good. All right, y'all. It's going in. I'm going to pat it down really well. I got my oven set on 350 degrees. And this is going to be good. I told Roy this morning, I said, I want a meatloaf. And I want to show them how I use my keto bread uh, for my breadcrumbs. A lot of people use saltine crackers, breadcrumbs, uh, loaf bread. They just put a little bit of milk over the loaf bread, get it really soft and mash it in. A lot of people in the South do that. Uh, but sometimes you just, we have when we're, excuse me y'all, I'm patting it down good. When we are low carb, when you're low carb, you don't have a whole lot of choices uh, out there as to things you can use. So if I can come up with something that, um, that I can show y'all and it works just as well as anything out there that has a lot of carbs in it, then that's what that's my goal is to try to come up with ways to make things low carb for us and for y'all low glycemic load low glycemic load yes okay this is going in a 350 degree oven now it's not going to take as long as it would a loaf but it's still going to take 30 or 45 40 45 minutes to get done so mm, it smells delicious all right about 10 minutes before it gets done, I'm going to pour a sauce over it. But uh, you know what? I'll do that right now. I'll do it right now. All right. I'm going to put it on 30 minutes. And I'll check it. And that's when I'm probably going to put my sauce on it. So we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. All right. In here, I've got... Um, 
I've got four ounces of tomato sauce. All right. I'm going to put about two ounces of my sugar, no sugar added ketchup. That's and that's because of the seasonings in ketchup are real good. Isn't that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a little sweet. Ketchup is a little sweet. And we like our we like our uh, topping just a little bit sweet. And I'm, when I taste of it, I may get some of that uh, brown squirt of uh, monk fruit or brown stevia. That's what it is over there. All right. Now, in here, I'm going to put garlic powder, not minced garlic. And that's about uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, I'm not gonna put any salt, no pepper. Oh, uh, let me see what else I might put in it. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna put all this. All right, that was four ounces of tomato sauce. Two ounces of sugar-free ketchup. Right, I'm gonna taste. Mmm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hold on. All right, this is brown sugar monk fruit right here. All right, I'm gonna put one tablespoon. Honey, help me remember all these ingredients so I'm writing them in the recipe in the description box. <laughs> when I'm doing it like this, sometimes when I put my recipe on, I forget I forget to um, everything I put in it. So she has to go back and watch the video. I do. Sometimes I have to go back and watch the video to find out what all I put in it. All right, now this is about a fourth cup of uh I need another spatula. This is about a fourth cup of onions here. Now, I, if y'all see, I've got these diced real fine, real fine. And that's the way we like them in our meatloaf and, uh, and in our topping. Okay. All right, y'all. Oh, I, want, I want just a little bit of uh, Worcestershire in it. This is a new bottle, so one tablespoon two tablespoons two tablespoons of Worcestershire now if I keep adding honey I know what I'm gonna forget so yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be watching this video I can tell you what's gonna yeah. happen and my recipe is always in the description box y'all and if y'all watch it what I have had lots of times is if I forget an ingredient, somebody will say, well, the video showed where you put this, but it's not in the recipe box. I said, oops. So some of y'all, some of my real detailed watchers, Rose, and they got memories like hawks. Oh yeah. So I go back and I edit it and I put it right in. So, and I appreciate that, believe me, because when you make this recipe, I want it to be like I'm showing you. I want you to use the ingredients that I'm showing you because it's so good. All right, I'm using another finger here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, when 30 minutes is up, I'm gonna take this out. I don't think it's gonna have much grease on it because I've got the ground uh, sausage and ground turkey and they're not really, really fat. But if it is, I pour some of the grease off, then I'll put this topping on it, but I'll show you that and cook it 10 more minutes. So we'll be back. All right. Okay, it cooked 30 minutes. Now this is about a cup and a half of sauce here because this is a three cup bowl. Roy and I love lots of sauce. So, mm, so I'm gonna put it back in my oven and for 15 minutes because I want this sauce to kind of dry out just a little bit. And I did pour some of the grease off. We're gonna set our timer for 15 minutes. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit, then we're gonna come back and, ooh, I'm gonna taste of it for you. <laughs> oh, Grandma. That's, good. That's looking good. I want y'all to look at, it's still real hot. I've let it cool for a while, but I want y'all to look at that. Mm. Now I'm telling you, wow. 
y'all. Now the way I cut mine, I just slice it like this and then cut it in ever what pieces I ever what size pieces I want. So this one I'm just gonna cut like this and then like this. Let's see if I can get it out with this. Woo! Man. Woo! Look at that. Gimme, gimme. Wow. Munchalicious. That bread crumbs. Look at that. Mmm. Didn't that work good? Mmm. Look at that. Those bread crumbs made a wonderful binder. Oh my goodness. All right, now, y'all, I got a taste of it for you. Yeah, it may not perfect, be good. Perfect, perfect texture. Yeah, but it's still got to be good. Oh my. Y'all. It was that Dijon mustard, wasn't it? Now, that is a meatloaf right there. <laughs> yeah, Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, th I told it's you that to add that. Dijon mustard. It was, it was my idea to add that. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look at that texture. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, that's perfect texture. This man. is absolutely perfect. Perfect. That is exactly the taste that I wanted this morning when I thought, I, when I said I want a meatloaf. All right, y'all. Make it this way. I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. You will not be disappointed. It's good for your family. It's good. You can double this recipe. You can half this recipe. When you're making meatloaf, you're not limited to what size you've got to make. Well, tell me about the sausage flavor in it. You can't pick up the sausage. It all, it's a blend. Okay. It's just a blend. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, one flavor is not prominent over the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can make this in muffin tins if you want to make individuals. Uh, you're unlimited to how you can do with a meatloaf mixture. All right. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Make you some meatloaf like this. We'll see y'all next time.